Okay, so this will be your notes for 8-2-A adaptations. All living things have certain adaptations to survive. If they didn't, they would die and become extinct eventually. Here are some of the different kinds of animal adaptation. Migration, hibernation, camouflage, mimicry, metamorphosis, unique defenses, and special adaptations. Many animals have camouflage which helps them blend into their surroundings by matching the scenery. One of the most famous animals for camouflage is the chameleon, who changes skin color depending upon where it is located at the time. Some more animals and insects that have camouflage as an adaptation are zebras, grasshoppers, rattlesnakes, and starfish. Some animals have the ability to mimic or copy other animals or organisms. This helps them hide from or scare away their predators. The walking stick is known for being excellent at mimicry. He can look exactly like a stick so that predators don't even see him. There are some species of butterfly that mimic other poisonous butterflies so their predators stay away. The mimic octopus is known for changing into whatever it wants at almost any time. Most animals and insects have some sort of defense that is unique to them. This allows them to defend themselves against predators. An amazing example of a unique defense would be a puffer fish. A puffer fish can blow itself up to twice its size so that it cannot fit inside its predator's mouth. Other organisms with awesome defenses are the scorpion's tail, the snake's venom, cat's claws, bee stingers, a cacti's spines, and electric eel. Some animals have the instinct to migrate or move from one place to another to help them survive or reproduce. Most birds are known for migrating from the north to the south every winter to avoid the cold. Other animals that migrate are salmon, sea turtles, gray whales, and caribou. Most insects go through metamorphosis or stages in growth to help them survive and reproduce. Metamorphosis can be complete with four stages or incomplete with three stages. Monarch butterflies are known for their beautiful complete transformation from egg to a gorgeous adult. Other insects that go through metamorphosis are beetles, praying mantises, frogs, ants, and spiders. Lots of animals have special adaptations that other animals don't have. This helps them to survive and adapt in their environment. The most well-known special adaptation is the hump on a camel's back. The camel's hump allows it to store water for long periods of time. Since, the camels, since it rarely rains in the desert, this is an important adaptation for sure. Other examples of special adaptations are flying squirrels, a polar bear's layer of fat, an elephant's trunk, a giraffe's long neck, an insect laying hundreds of eggs, and a bird's beak. So, the point of all this is for you to understand that all living organisms, even plants, have some sort of adaptation, including us. Our adaptation happens to be our super intelligent brain. Without adaptations, many animals would die out and either become endangered or extinct. For example, long ago, the dinosaurs were not able to adapt to the suddenly freezing climate. This led to their extinction.